Hello everybody. I'm going to try and make a quick video. Uh, just uh, work with me on this. Uh, pretend for a moment that this is not the plug chamber, but the chamber of the Bible. Uh, I just have this handy as an illustration, so that's what I'm going to use. Let's say if this right here is the uh, Bible. You got your undermilling right here, real good. Uh, you make your key pins with uh, overset traps. These are excellent for that. Now, if you have a driver pin that has a thin lip like this, maybe a pin and pin. And where are my tweezers? Right here. Here's a pair. Uh, for something like this, it can, let me get it for you. Uh, minus the inner pin, but one of these here. The uh, flared edges, given the uh, tolerances and the uh, ability for a pin to wiggle a little bit inside that chamber, can cause that thin lip, not only of this pit, this type of a uh, pin, but even like a thin lip spool or something like that of that nature, to get caught in this undercutting. So essentially. Now, instead of having six pins, they have only one pin. Look at that beautiful undercutting there. But uh, anyways, sorry. <clears throat> and there is something else. Oh, yeah. Another thing I wanted to talk about is like when um, actually it has happened with one of my challenge logs. I've seen it happen with others. Uh, I'm actually modified this one to actually have all the chambers threaded per request which you can see right down there uh, i've had to take the original stripper clip out uh, here are some for uh, your key and knobs or your kick cylinders uh, a friend of mine sent me I, somewhere i've in one of the messages the dms he sent me the uh, part number but i don't know where it's where it's at and all the messages or where to get them from so if you don't know how to obtain these, I do recommend going to like Amazon, eBay, get you some of this brass strip, six millimeter, half a millimeter. And once if you have to take one of these to get out the old one or use a jeweler's deburring wheel that I've used as a, a substitute to a thin lip security pan, run it down to where you start seeing the outline of the chambers, then use one of these and pull it out. So at that point is once you've got that all done, I would recommend for the mortar cylinders is take these We inside your rotary tool. I free hand it, I go down that wall. I make a nice good little channel, little groove right down that wall. Do the same thing on the other. Brass stripping, set it here. I'll take a, Sharpie, I will cut it. Once I cut it into a smaller strip, I set it back in there and I look at the little ledge right over here and I'll make a little mark. Then I will trim that off. And as I get it trimmed, I start to look at it to see what it takes. Filing a little bit at a time, getting this to where it slides up all the way in basically closes up all the chambers that I have modified. Now, as far as uh, kick cylinders, it's a little bit tricky. I'm not good at that. I think those clips probably would be better. I've actually used those. I've only got a few more of those. I need to get some more of those. Uh, I'm going to have to annoy that person and be like, man, I'm sorry. But I don't know, I'm not even really quite sure where it is in the multiple messages uh, of the part number. I'm not sure where to get them from, but they do come in handy for these um, kick cylinders. And when I find out that information, I'll try to post it uh, in a video or something like that uh, on a follow-up because I do want to go into some of the ideas that I have in my mind 
using some of the magnets, using the neodymium magnets, and uh, and for those who decide that they want to give it a shot and try working with magnets, maybe uh, I have some helpful tips for you on that. I am not the first person to ever use magnets, and I'm sure I'm not going to be the last because they do make interesting good times for the picker but anyway that's about all i got for you on this uh, i hope everybody has a great weekend and before i forget again uh, there's someone uh, actually lsk he has a video series on how to make harsh challenge locks his were easy to get out i think he used a, a kick cylinder uh when you get something like this that is uh, crimped, yeah, you pretty much have to try using, knocking it out one of the picks starting from right here or taking a jeweler's deburring wheel and cutting it out that way. Just be kind of easy. Uh, you don't want to mar up too much on the uh, channel where the chamber is, where they connect. So I managed to do all right with this one if I can get this one out a little bit further. But uh, I will include a link to his channel. Um, and he's got a series on how to make uh, hard challenge locks. If you have not seen it, I recommend you do check it out. Very talented guy. But uh, anyways, that's uh, pretty much about all I do have for you for now. And this video has went a little longer than what I wanted. But anyways... Y'all take care. Y'all have a great weekend.